guy named Jonathan Maynard from my county in Georgia caught a fish. This fish, a northern snakehead. After a phone call to the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, the incident drew national news coverage, urging anyone who caught a snakehead to kill it immediately. What earns this fish such a bad reputation? Let's find out. When I had him on the uh, dock, I could hear him like taking a gulp of breath there, which was really weird, which I never heard a fish do before. Now, that was the first time I held one, and it was strong. The snakehead is a perch-like fish with roots in Asia and Africa. There's a variety of snakehead species, but most of the fish are between one and three feet in length. You can probably see why they're called snakeheads, with their big mouths and shiny teeth. Beginning in 2002, this fish occasionally appears in the national news for its gradual spread through North America. The first sighting in the U.S. was in Crofton, Maryland. As of 2004, the northern snakehead inhabits the Potomac River and may possibly be established in Florida waterways as well. Ten states have reported a sighting of the snakehead fish as of this video's upload. So what makes these fish so dangerous? Turns out these guys can totally wreck an ecosystem. In a lot of places where snakeheads are not native, they have no apex predators to keep their numbers in check. In fact, because of the fish's potential food chain position, multiple governments across the world have intentionally introduced snakeheads into ecosystems of their own, such as Hawaii and Madagascar. And you can't talk about snakeheads without mentioning their air-breathing gills and powerful fins that let them walk across the earth, as long as they're wet. With these abilities combined, the fishzilla can migrate as far as 400 meters on land and survive up to four days out of the water. So if you're thinking you just found your next pet, think again. It's illegal to possess a live snakehead in most states. Not to mention, the proper protocol for handling these fish is killing them, and then freezing them. Not as a cool souvenir, but because female snakeheads can release up to 15,000 eggs at one time. Furthermore, they can mate up to five times annually, meaning as many as 75,000 snakehead eggs released by just one fish in one year. The world record for the largest snakehead ever caught belongs to Caleb Newton, who caught a northern snakehead at the Akea Creek and Potomac River in Spotsylvania County, Virginia, on June 1, 2013. It weighed in at 17 pounds and 6 ounces. One proposal for reducing the snakehead population? Eating them. Snakeheads are actually pretty valuable food fish, featured in dishes in Vietnam and Indonesia. Its value can be attributed to its rarity, with small numbers in the wild and greater aquacultural difficulty than other freshwater fish, like catfish or carp. As for the U.S., it may be a while until you can find snakehead on a restaurant menu. So, if you ever catch a snakehead, remember, the most important thing, the first thing you should do... Did you kill it? No. It, like, thrusted violently. Nothing I can do. Back in the water? Back in the water. Nothing I can do about that. Huh. According to this interview, you were Janis Joplin's dealer. Years later, you moved to Shanghai to make anti-democracy films. Confucius is a fool. We grow fat on greed. When you return to the U.S., you introduce the walking snakehead fish into the North American ecosystem. 